We need to talk about this Mel Tucker, Brenda Tracy situation, even though a lot of people don't want to, but in a way that you probably wouldn't expect because there is a third party involved with ulterior motives. And for those who don't know, Brenda Tracy, founder of Set the Expectation, a nonprofit whose mission says that they're dedicated to ending sexual and interpersonal violence through prevention work. She has accused Michigan State head coach Mel Tucker of repeatedly refusing to acknowledge that their eight month professional relationship should not progress into a romantic one as well as him sexually harassing her masturbating on a late night 36 minute phone call in April of 2022 she also accuses him of canceling a July 2022 speaking engagement in retaliation for rebuffing his advance for Mel Tucker's part he says that the relationship had mutually progressed beyond professional and that his actions on the April 2022 phone call were consensual and that his personal feelings about her had nothing to do with his decision to postpone not cancel her summer 2022 training in East Lansing he essentially accuses Brenda Tracy of wanting to extort him for financial gain in order to drop the title nine complaint she made to Michigan State in December 2022 and I'm not even gonna get into who should be believed in here because accusations deserve investigations you are supposed to believe enough to make an earnest attempt to verify and a rush to judgment is dangerous to the truth but what happens when the people that you have to trust in order to sort out the details of a serious matter have their own ulterior motives and no regard for your welfare because that seems to be exactly the case in Michigan State's internal investigation of this matter because Brenda Tracy and Mel Tucker are on opposing sides of a very serious issue. But the one place that they might have common ground is their grievance with the investigative process. Because this investigation is now tainted and playing out in the court of public opinion instead of where it's supposed to be. Because somebody leaked Brenda Tracy's name to USA Today ahead of the October hearing. The person Brenda Tracy had shared investigative documentation with USA Today reporter Kenny Jacob confirmed that he had access to documentation of the case since June 2023 and has known Brenda Tracy for six years. But the condition of USA Today having exclusive access to the documentation of the case was that none of it was supposed to be used until the completion of the investigation. Can't trust that. <laughs> and the longer the hearing was delayed, the bigger the risk that Tracy's name came out in the media. And the hearings were initially set for late August, but then Tucker and his attorney delayed the proceedings until October 5th. Over the last two months, the whispers of the story coming out grew louder, and a Michigan State Title IX coordinator even emailed Brenda Tracy's attorney back in late August, attempting to warn them that the media outlets were investigating the matter and might be ready to publish a story. Now, when USA Today contacted Brenda Tracy, last week to tell her that her name had been brought up she greenlit the story and you might be saying to yourself well well then this whole thing getting out before October is Brenda Tracy trying to gain an advantage now that could be true but what is also true is that this story getting out before there's an investigative conclusion means that Brenda Tracy's organization is essentially toast college coaches aren't going to bring in set the expectation on their campus if there's even a one percent chance that they feel Tracy isn't a consummate professional the contextless details about the long phone calls and and the formation of a deeply personal relationship with a married coach, regardless of the claim that Mel Tucker pushed the relationship into sexual territory after being asked not to, give reasonable enough doubt to any athletic administration to seek guidance and training on sexual violence and consent from literally anybody but Brenda Tracy. This information being out there does not help Brenda Tracy at all unless a lawsuit is coming. And it damn sure doesn't help Mel Tucker. And I'm not sure he can be helped mainly because of how Michigan State dropped the ball with serial sexual assaulter Larry Nasser. If the only people who were aware that this investigation had concluded and was awaiting a hearing were out here spilling secrets, how on earth is it even possible for Mel Tucker to have a fair adjudication of his counterclaim? The answer is it isn't. And maybe that was the point. The leaker clearly has an agenda and they definitely have no regard for Brenda Tracy's well-being. And the entire thing seems to be an attempt to hurt Mel Tucker's chances of surviving this scandal and being able to earn the massive contract that Spartans boosters gave him. This case is complicated and messy enough without the ulterior motives of a third party being driven by a desire for success on the football field. Let that sink in.